everyone, this is Space Marine Steve from Play on Tabletop and I wanna play Kill Team. I found three amazing players to help me do it. A mountain of fantastic prizes, all from the Army Painter. We found a great story to tell. This is Kill Team Octarian. You don't go! James has had my number for a while. It is high due that I take him down a peg. It's gonna be fast, it's gonna be furious. It's anyone's game now. It's time to play. In our first game of Kill Team this year, we see a fan favorite, James, Mr. Initiative Jones, joining us with his Orc Commando Kill Team. So I brought Orc Commandos, and I'm really excited about the throat slitter rule where I can be concealed and still charge into combat and really crump something good. Always great to have James back in the studio, and his Orcs are looking vibrant with a fresh coat of speed paint from the Army Painter. Play on Tabletop's very own Tao Nick has temporarily left the greater good to pilot his veteran guardsmen. Just recently dipped in Army Painter's quick shade, those guardsmen were ready for battle in no time. Guardsmen and Kill Team are actually kind of fun. They have a lot of special weapons that they can take, and the orders mechanic can give me some real tactical flexibility with my army from turn to turn. As far as Nick goes, I know he's got a vendetta out for me. I gotta watch out or he's gonna take vengeance upon me. Today the boys are playing the first mission from the Octarius campaign book, Reconnaissance. In the middle of the board, there are four vantage points, each of these four larger buildings. Scoring points in this mission is simple. The players need to perform actions on these vantage points. Check out this handy little chart in the corner here. To score points, and the further that the point away is from their deployment zone, the more points it's worth. So we are gonna be trying to be aggressive to take those points, get on the vantage points, get on top, and do actions. In addition to my 10-man kill squad, I get additional assets. I get some airstrikes. He gets to come in and do a strafing run. He also gets to come do a concentrated airstrike. I'm just gonna put this here to remind you that this is coming up. So we are also, also playing, Army Painter has supplied some prizes and we are playing today for the War Paints Air Starter Set. Ooh. I do a lot of airbrushing. I enjoy airbrushing. It is way faster and gets I don't faster. airbrush at all. Maybe I'll just let you win. Okay, oh thanks. Good game. Before we get to the game, let's talk about the sponsor of this year's Kill Team series. You may have guessed, the Army Painter has generously sponsored PlayOn's Kill Team and provided us with enough products to test out and showcase the versatility of their range. And now, we have to play for it too. The Army Painter has put their paints to the test and put their product on the line. If you wanna check out what we're playing for and the products we use to paint the models in this video, head to the description below and check out their website and everything that they offer. Thanks, Army Painter. Oh! <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm gonna be the attacker in this scenario, okay. which means that you deploy your army first. Okay, um, I believe in this mission we deploy within square of the table's edge. We do. So here you go. Thank you. Uh, I deploy my whole entire force. We'll start by dropping a regular boy. Right there. Put a uh, sniper boy. I'm gonna go up here. A uh, regular boy. Put the sniper up here as well, same kind of thing you're doing here. Mm -hmm. 
All the guys are going down, ready to go. All right, so now we go to the very important Who's going first? Before the guys get into their first turn, it's time to put down some orders. Normally this is done when a unit activates, but on the first turn, you do it for the whole army instead. This is a really cool mechanic of the new kill team system. All operatives are given either a conceal or an engage token. A conceal order represents the model hiding or ducking for cover, which means you can't be seen or shot at if you're hiding behind something. However, it also means that you can't charge, fight, or shoot. If you have an engage order, you are now free to charge, fight, or shoot. However, now the enemy can actually see you. It's a really cool system and represents some great tactical choices. One note to keep in mind is that if you get onto a vantage point higher than your target, the conceal order won't actually help your opponent. Time. <laughs> oh. Mr. Initiative is back. Let's do it! Good luck. We get to spend some CP now if we wish. We have three at each. At the beginning of each turn before the firefight phase, both players alternate spending command points to do army-wide buffs. There are mid-game tactical ploys that can be played as well, but for now, both players have to think carefully about what their strategy is going to be for the upcoming turn. And uh, what are you gonna spend your first one on? Shh. <laughs> what does that do? I spend one command point, and any model that is not within red pentagon of an enemy model may make a free dash action. Just across your board. Across the board. That's really nice. So this orc boy is gonna dash. Hiya! Okay, this guy dashes up behind him. Hiya! Burner Boy's gonna stay, uh, he's gonna round the corner a little bit here. And then these guys, um, I can't dash over the thing, can I? So this guy's just gonna move up to here. That is that. I'm gonna spend one command point on Into the Breach, which means everyone can perform a free dash action right now. Um, okay. As long as I end up closer to your deployment though than mine. I'm not gonna spend any more command points right now. Well, I'm gonna do one, um, it's uh, orders from the commander right here. Okay. Sergeant. I'm gonna do take aim, okay. which means that I reroll ones to hit you. Okay. Um, and then the comm specialist right beside him is gonna relay that order to the entire board so everyone now has it, because normally it's just within range of the leader. Okay. I'm gonna start things off with a rocket. Nah, <laughs> of course you are. Why would you not start things off with a rocket? Yeah. Rocket Boy is actually gonna shoot. Rocket Boy has five dice, hitting you on fours. Ooh, very oh, good. He didn't move, so he re-rolls everything. Oh, beautiful. Oh, okay. <laughs> so two crits and two hits. All right, defensive dice. I have cover, so uh, automatic pass. Wow, you blew him away that easily. Yeah. Ooh. Bye bye, Plasma. That sucks. That felt pretty good. That, that plasma guy sucked. is a problem. I'm glad that he's gone. That sucked. Okay. Okay. That's a good start. That was a great start, dude. So, I think in response, <laughs> I think it, I, I, it, this is the most I'm gonna get you in a line at any point. Yep. So I might as well do it now. So yep. basically I'm doing a strafing run from this guy's perspective. Okay. You can see this guy. Rocket boy. And then I gotta pick, an, uh, so that's my mark. Okay. And then I gotta pick another point on the battlefield that is no closer to my deployment zone. Okay, so I can get five guys there, perfect. Okay. Excellent. So it does a butt ton of dice. So starting with this guy here, and that's two criticals and two hits. Oh! 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 Three crits. Okay, so one still goes through, does okay, so it do two damage. Two damage? How did you roll three sixes? I collided them into your lucky dice. Oh, good. All right, and then it goes right into the next guy here that hasn't yep. fired yet, and I have one critical and two hits. So I got a crit, and that's it. And then the burner boy. 
Burner boy. No, don't kill my burner boy. Oh, this would be so good, please. Oh yeah, two crits, two hits. That oh. takes it all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. Ooh, that's a lot. He is dead. Yes. All right, so then it goes on to the knob over here. Yep, five, six. Uh, one critical, one hit. I block. Uh, ooh, I block one. One regular, so you take three damage. Uh, I'm gonna spend one command point. Okay. I take zero. Excellent. And then lastly, it hits this uh, boy over there. Okay. And does two criticals and one hit. Uh, he has cover as well. He has cover as well. Okay. So yeah, one automatic success. And he saves two. Yeah. I take five. Yeah. So take five damage there. I mean, I only get to do that once per game. Mm -hmm. I would love to do that more, but it was I'm, awesome. I'm glad you can't do it more. I killed my burner boy. I I'm, love that guy. Yes, I'm very glad I killed that guy. Yep. Yep, I bet. Um, and then it goes to you. We are going to now go with a sniper boy. Yeah, I figured you might. <laughs> sniper is shooting at this guy right here? Yes. Okay. Just the closest guy. Closest guy? Got it. Oh, very good. So I've got cover, so I get one automatic, and I hope I get more sixes. No. You killed him! All right, my sniper is now going to go. <laughs> yep. And um, he's going to shoot into this rocket dude. Four attacks, hitting on threes. Oh, yeah. And rerolling ones, because I did pick aim. So all hit with two of them being criticals. OK, so I get cover. No. So I block one. All right, so this does one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But He's because dead. of the two sixes, eight, 10, 11 damage. Boom, boom. Shifty, I love you. Well done. I hate that guy. My comms boy. He's just gonna run from here. I know you guys can't see him at home, but he's right here underneath. And he's gonna run to the other side. And then he's going to give his other action point to this boy here. When a model activates is a certain amount of action points to spend on each action. Most units have two action points and most actions cost one action point. So you end up doing two actions per activation. I like this mechanic a lot, in which some special units can actually transfer one of their action points to another unit. Really smart thinking, James. All right, so my turn, right? And I'm gonna activate a guardsman right here. So uh, when I activate these guardsmen, I actually activate two of them. Beautiful. Once. Yep. So the first time, he's gonna go over to here. And I think I can get a clean shot on you. Yes, I can. Okay. So he's gonna move over to here. And this Garzman is going to fire at that orc boy. Four dice sitting on fours, but I do get to reroll ones. All Pretty hit with good. a critical. I save zero. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage. Oh, he's alive with one. Ha, ha, ha. But that's not all, because I get to do two of them. And I think let's do the exact same thing with the other Garzman right here. OK. Kill Team uses a unique measuring device with shapes on it instead of a standard measuring tape. So instead of moving six inches, most miniatures will move three circles. Four shots. Oh, only one hit and it's a critical. But that, I don't this think it's gonna do be it. enough. Oh, I only block one. Oh, I got him. You got him. Oh, is that three dead orc boys? There's three dead orc boys, super quick too. So let's get up in there. He's gonna come over, he's gonna go over and then he's gonna go one, two, and then he's just gonna dash to the corner here. A dash allows a model to move an extra square of distance. You can only do each action once, so it's effectively letting you move twice. I'm gonna actually go with the leader and he's gonna just uh, kind of move up and hide right over here. Cowardly, but I accept it. This guy's gonna move up to the corner here with a dash. All right, so this guy's right here. I'm actually gonna activate this guy's right here. He doesn't have anything to shoot at. Dash, and then one, two, three, right up to the wall. Just run it. Fuck it! Ah! For the bar! <laughs> Anybody know? Hello? Good. Housekeeping! Do you do you have a moment to talk about <laughs> our emperor? Okay. And so he's gonna do the exact same thing. He's just gonna, he's gonna dash. And then run, run, run. 
right behind this, uh, right behind this thing right here. I love it. This guy's gonna jump the wall, make a dash to the corner here. Comm specialist's gonna go. He's only got one APL because he did the comms order, and he's just gonna dash over by his buddy and say, hey, hey, Winters, Winters, how you doing? Daka Boy's gonna climb up. Oh, interesting. And then, and he'll just uh, move over here. All right, I've only got one more guy to activate, and he, it's the Bruiser. T. Ba 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 ba. Because after I crump you. Are you coming in? Oh, hell yeah. We're coming. Oh, yeah. Let's fight. Close combat is really unique in Kill Team. Both players roll at the same time and then alternate either doing damage or blocking one of their opponent's dice. In this case, James uses his first successful dice to do damage to the guardsman, and then Nick uses one of his successful rolls to parry, blocking James's other attack, leaving the guardsman barely surviving with only two wounds remaining. And I believe that's the end of the phase, um, and I'm gonna spend my last command point at the end of the turning point yep. uh, to do crump him. Does that mean you need to fight it again right now? This guy gets to fight again. Oh, that's awesome. Well done. Threes. Oh, much better. Ooh. Take a critical bad. hit and die. Yeah, okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> How you feel, Nick? Oh, it's so good. So good? I'm so having it. a good time? You're killing my orcs like crazy. I've only killed three, and you've killed three of mine. That's fair. We're even. We're even, we're even. We're even. We're even, but uh, you killed two of my special characters. You killed what? You killed a plasma guy. Yeah, that guy's terrifying. What a brutal first turn. No points for either side yet, but both players are poised to jump on top of those forward buildings and do the claim action to score them some points. With only four turns in a standard kill team game, there's not that much time left, so every point matters. All right, let's take a quick break from the game to talk about something that's near and dear to all of our hearts, the hobby. We say it often at Play on Tabletop that this is really more than a game, and it really, really is. We use a variety of techniques and tools available through the Army Painter line, and for the Orcs, we use the Speed Paint line, and holy smokes, are these colors ever vibrant. You start by priming the model white, or like a very light color, and by applying the Speed Paint over top of that, the Speed Paint is formulated to like run into the recesses and highlight and shade all of the different sections of the model to give you like a three-tone variant on each surface. It applies really smooth and they were really easy to use. After they were dry, a really quick dry brush highlight brought the model to life in ways that made me think that, well, it made me think that Tack painted it, honestly. <laughs> While these speed paints aren't like the only tool that you'll need to make play on ready models, they are a great tool for your painting desk and I can think of all kinds of ways that I'm gonna use them in the future. Now, back to the game. All right, well, let's activate all our guys. I go back up to three command points. Why you let me roll first? It worked last thing and do it again. Oh, oh yeah! So you get initiative. Oh. Nice, dude, nice. Boom. Hey, so okay. the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to do some orders. I'm gonna do take aim. So I am rerolling ones to fire. Any stratagems for you, sir? Skulk about. Skulk about. Anybody who has a conceal order gets to retain a save against shooting. I anticipate that you're not gonna want to keep many conceal orders this round. Cause there's guys within crumpet range. Hmm. They fight and conceal. Oh darn it, I keep forgetting <laughs> that. <laughs> this guy's the So I have no command points again. How do you like that? Really smart play by James here. Normally models can't charge or fight while they have the conceal order, but an orc commando kill team has a special rule allowing them to still charge and fight when concealed. And there's a lot of stuff in crump and range here too. Then I'm gonna spend a command point. All right. Down to two. Okay. To clear the line, which means when we do any fight actions this round, mm -hmm. I get one automatic pass. Nice. Score is still zero to zero. Yeah, the score is still zero to zero. That's true, yeah. You have some damage, guys. I do. All right, now I have some choices to make. Mm -hmm. So the one fun choice would be to take this guy, run him up here, do the action on here, and of course, no, that would be the points. strategic thing to do. The strategic thing but to that do. That would be the fun thing. That would be the fun thing. It also means that you're just gonna do the same thing over here. Yeah, you gotta kill him. 
Let's hop up there. Okay. So he's gonna go for the emperor, and he just goes, ha! I have captured this for the emperor. There's no orcs around, so I will conceal him, doing an action on the objective, scoring me two points. But, however, this is, this is just a regular guardsman, I do get to activate another guardsman at the same time. All right, so I'm gonna change one of these guys to a conceal order. Okay. And he is just gonna move up. He's gonna dash and move up to, that's to there. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing you did. I'm just gonna hop up here, boop, 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 do the action. My bruiser. Okay is going to change his action to an engage and he's gonna charge you. Makes sense. So he's just gonna Let's fight! Here he comes. Four attacks on fours, but one of them automatically passes. Nice. Yeah, the rest pass. I got four hits. Oh no! Ooh, yeah! I only hit you with one. So, a bruiser has a special ability that in this phase right here, okay. I can choose one of your dice and ignore it. Nice. Just, just automatically from the bruiser's Sweet. ability. So I'm gonna ignore that. So you're alive with one wound left. <laughs> Almost gotcha. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go with this guy. He's gonna charge. Ah, uh, you gonna hop up there and try to kill him? Hmm, makes sense. Whoa. He hops up here. Oh boy. Threes. That's better. Okay. I get one, one automatic pass. Okay. And one more hit, one more hit. Uh, take a critical hit. Which is? Five damage. Five damage. Uh, five, six, seven, yeah, I'm down to two damage, and then I'm gonna die anyway, so I might as well just do two damage to you, and then you kill me. Okay, I'm okay with it. So he goes down to three, so he is halved now at least. Okay, my calm specialist is gonna charge you. <laughs> okay. So he's gonna come up here, he's gonna change his order to an engage order. Okay. And he's gonna try to kill you there. You get to go first, I, I'm pretty much doomed. Unless you roll really bad. <gasps> oh. oh, I did. I fit, wait, 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 hold, hold, hold. No, you automatically get one. Oh, right, I automatically get one, true. Calm specialist kills you with a phone. Calm specialist, if I'm not mistaken, is the guy who passes the orders he around. He does pass the orders. So, uh. You'd like to kill him. Snipe a boy, sees him hop up there all cocky and uh, he's gonna blast him. Yeah. So he spends both his action points. I will get cover. Uh, to fire out of concealment. Don't do it! This game is rigged. Hey! No, nope, never mind. it's not rigged. Yeah, it's I was fine. gonna say, you're doing this again? Take two damage. We will go with my leader, who is gonna stay concealed and hop up here. And he is going to do the action on this thing, giving me one point. Okay, I'm gonna go with my comm specialist. I'm gonna move to the corner here. He's still concealed. He's going to uh, pass his other action off to uh, Sneaky Boy. Daka Boy. Daka Boy. So I'm gonna go with this lone guardsman here. So I'm gonna change this to a conceal order for this guardsman here. He's gonna dash, he's gonna hide behind here. The boss knob. The boss. He's going to give an action point to the boy right here. Okay. And be done. Interesting. When this guy does nothing. Literally nothing. Okay. He just sits there and says, hi. Daka boy is going to... So if you do that, then I'll be able to do the uh, airstrike. No, he's just gonna be done. Oh! Overwatch away. You have none. Yeah, smart. Now, now this guy... Smart runs cookie! Runs over to here like we were talking about. I, the only problem with this is, um, now these guys over here, he's gonna have cover from them, right? But this guy's elevated, so not from him. What a brilliant move by James. When one side runs out of activations before the other side does, they get to make a free shoot action called Overwatch with a unit that has already activated. Nick was counting on that to allow his sniper to shoot an additional time. However, by James choosing not to do anything and leave that model with the conceal order, none of Nick's models have any targets to fire at. Brutally cunning indeed. Plank very tactical. cleverly done. Plain tactical. I'm cunning. That was, that, was, that was cunningly brutal. Yeah. And very annoying. <laughs> and very annoying. <laughs> it is six to six guys. Yeah, it's pretty even here. Another absolutely brutal turn. However, Nick has managed to get ahead by one point by doing actions on those two buildings. James decided to forego getting that second action and instead moved aggressively forward. Hopefully he can make up the difference in the next turn.
All right, turn three. I'm back up to three command points. Back up to one. Oh, that's okay, yeah. that's okay. Oh! How about best two to three? <laughs> How about no? <laughs> I'm going to do nothing. I'm gonna save that command point. Interesting. I'm really debating what to do with my orders. I could take aim, which is classic, we roll ones, it's always nice. Mm -hmm. But I was gonna think about affixing bayonets, but you're still really far away. Like, I don't think you're charging me this round, except for this, maybe this guy. No, he's not in range to charge you. There's no way so for me to get him So there's no fixing bayonets, I think, unless I'm charging you, and I'm not going to be doing that. So I can give myself extra movement or extra cover. I think I got to give myself the movement. Move. So move, move. The order is move, move, move. And everybody within this, so that's everybody with this guy here, so all four of these guys here, are going to get an extra triangle on their movement. Not a lot, but it okay. might just be enough. I don't think anything so else is going to help them. This guy and this guy are out? Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to kick this turn off. With old Sneaky Boy here. Sneaky Boy, what is Sneaky Boy gonna do? Sneaky Boy is going to right here, within triangle of the corner, out of sight, out and of mind, and concealed. All right. Well, I still don't like that you giving me nothing to shoot at. Mm -hmm. Well, my comm specialist is gonna go to conceal. Okay. Gonna gonna move up to here. Yep. And do the action. And do the action on this building, giving me one point, As making the score four to two. This gentleman here will move just up into the corner to taunt <laughs> you, um, and he'll do the action. All right, I'm gonna activate the bruiser. Yep. So you can't shoot him. Yep. He's gonna go to conceal. Mm-hmm. And he's gonna stay there. <laughs> uh, comms boy. Yeah. He's going to pass his oh, uh, action point to Sniper. Because it get, gives him two. Yeah, very nice. And then he's going to run over to here. Okay. And now he can't see him at all, right? Can't see him. Smooth moves there. Now I that guy has shoot, to yeah. move or get shot, basically. You know. Yeah, that's that's what you're playing there. You know what? I'm OK, because you know what I was doing with him anyways? Death or glory. Let's not beat around the bush anymore. <laughs> so I can just barely do it. A guardsman sees this sneaky little orc over here, and he says, I'm going to go charge him for the emperor. No one wants to live forever. We've measured it out. It's just barely. Because of the move and move order, I can get a little bit extra. And I can get all the way over here. Rawr! For the emperor! I'm just imagining, as he wheels around that corner, and just realizes... He, cha he changes his order, obviously. Yeah. He realizes just how much bigger that orc is. I get three attacks. To my four. Hitting on fours. Okay. I go two! I've got three. Okay. Crit. I'm gonna actually use a CP to reroll this one. Going down to two. Give me it! Yeah! So I'm gonna do Two damage to you. Okay, and then I will do five damage to you. And then I'm gonna block you. Okay. Parry you. Okay, so mine goes. Oh, away. wait, no, no, then you and kill then me. And then I hit you, so yeah, you'd rather yeah. do the damage. Yeah, because yeah. then you're just gonna kill me, so, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then I'm gonna do two damage to you. And then I finish you off. Yeah, kill me. But I take four damage, putting him down to six. Um, and now I have to activate the next guardsman, actually, right after that. Okay. And I'm not gonna let you have this, is what I'm saying. So I'm gonna go. Dash. I'm not going to change his concealment. Okay. Dash. Move. 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 Yeah, I'll just stay back here. Okay. So you just stay back here with his concealment. Yep. Ready to dash and get up there so you can't do the objective. So what's going to happen now is I believe you forgot about Sniper Boy. So he's going to move, move, oh, I move. Totally forgot about Sniper Boy. Gets over Boy. to here. He has an extra action point. Yeah. So he is now going to spend two action points to shoot out of concealment. Oh, I totally forgot about Sniper Boy. Yeah. Well done. Hmm. Okay. No. No. No mortals. Okay. Four hits. Four hits. Better well, save some. Oh, you did. I automatically get a save. Okay. Um. Ooh. So take six damage. He's alive with one wound. He's alive with one wound. That's all I need. Okay, I'm gonna go with my commander here. Okay. And I'm going to change his order to engage. Okay. And he's going to pistol you. So I have cover, so my conceal order becomes a active. Yeah. Okay. Here's Sergeant Wataz. Fire. Ooh, that was pretty bad. 
Ah, three damage, three damage. So he's gonna flip his order, and then he's gonna jump down. Yeah, two to there. Then he's gonna spend another action point to do his Daka Dash action. So he gets to shoot and then dash. Nice. So he's gonna shoot up at your captain, actually. That makes sense. With his five shots. Hitting on fours. Okay, well, I've got one save. Yep. And... Ho, 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 ho. Not enough. Take four damage. Ouch. Stinger. That's a lot. It's a stinger. Um, he's got eight wounds, so I've got four wounds remaining. I might as well just move over here to make it impossible for you to come charge me. No, 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 get out of here. Oh, here comes the boss. Now, you were waiting for me to do that, weren't you? You were waiting for me to do that, weren't you? Yeah, this all planned out. I actually thought he was over here. <laughs> yep, all right, that's uh, that's the round. That's the end of the turn, dude. Four, this is so two, close. three, dude, this is a close, guy. This is a fun game. This is gonna be good. I, I knew this was gonna be good. Can you take this? I'm currently winning by one point just because I managed to do the action here one more time than you did. Incredibly close. Can James take that building in the back? You have to be on top of the building and have no enemies on it as well to do the action. However, it's worth more points than any of the other objectives. If James can take it, this game is all his. So last turn, here we go. It all comes down to so this. We, we each get a command point. You go up to three yet uh, again. Go three. This know. time, I go up to two. Nice. All right, you ready? Initiative. Mr. Initiative, this actually matters an incredibly large deal. Four again. Yeah. Four. Oh! Oh! oh. <sighs> I feel it in my soul. The Emperor is not with us today. What would you, uh, so what I'm gonna start with. Stratagems. Stratagems. I'm going to do. Whoa! What does that do? So if I do two hits to you in close combat, I can turn one of them into a crit. I'm gonna give orders to my guys. Okay, go ahead. Fixing bayonets, and then the comm specialist is gonna give it to everybody. So everyone's attaching bayonets. The sniper, grab his bayonet. It's like a plug bayonet. You just put it on the sniper, it's like, boom, boom. I'm ready, sure. I'm gonna go down to two. Okay. For um, clear the line. Clear the line. Which means I get one free automatic success in close combat. Perfect. And then I'm gonna go Pray to the Emperor really hard. Yeah, pray to the Emperor really hard. Because <laughs> that's all I got left. Take a command point. <laughs> For inspiration. Inspiration. Ah. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend two action points off the sniper no. to shoot that guy. I'm going to command point reroll. I should have just said take cover. Ah. Oh, I need two. All of them. I need two successes or he's dead. Yeah, you need all of them. Yeah. Okay, one critical. So I'm gonna command point reroll this for one command point. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Let me just make sure this doesn't have AP. I don't think it does. I think the last thing you said it wasn't. No, no. All right, so I still need a five or six with this thing. Oh, come on. Do it, don't do it, Nick. No. Uh, uh. Okay, so it's time for an airstrike. So this guy calls an airstrike, seeing a knob coming in and just like, ah! It gives me five attacks. I'm saving on uh, fives. On fives, wow. Well, it, 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 it won't kill him. It'll leave him on one wound though, which means when he charges, you have Attention. a good chance of killing him. There's always a chance, there's always a chance. Because he can't one shot you. No. <gasps> I saved oh. none. Oh, he so takes he's on. 12 damage from that airstrike. The knob has one wound remaining, and that is huge. Though still possible, it makes it so much less likely that the knob can take out the sniper and clear that vantage point. So we have to do it. Okay, so, so you're gonna charge him with the knob? Oh yeah, him let's do it! It comes down to this. Sniper, shifty the sniper for the win. Let's fight. And I'm on the wall. 
So if I roll two successes, one of them becomes a critical. Hit on twos. Oh, okay. So I get the crit. I need you to only hit me one time. Okay, so I get one automatic hit. Fours, we're rolling ones. I need, this is the roll. I need one. This is for the game. I just Whoever, need one. If you do this, you win. 50, for, 50, 50 roll of two dice? That says I do this. I, I, ah! You got it. Oh, yeah. Good game. Oh. Good game. He, so you try to kill him with your six. My five, or five then, five then goes in and kills you. Oh. Just twist the knife which leaves my guy alive, which means it's impossible for this guy to climb up here. It's impossible for this guy to climb up here and do the action now. Which means that I will get to do the action here point. for one point. I do You'll it here You'll do the action here point, for one point. And you win by a and point. And I win by one point because you did this advance and didn't do this here, otherwise it would've been a tie. What's wow, on, man? One game, yeah, dude. Ouch. What a great way to start our Octarius season. So uh, thank you so much for playing, James. Absolutely. Like, Congratulations to our winner and to the victor goes the spoils. Those airbrush paints are all yours. Enjoy your I, airbrush paints. I will. Oh, look at this, pure red, like the blood. Oh, green skin. I'll just combine those two. It'll be very uh, evocative of this game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching and thank you so much to our Patreon community. If you want to be a part of a fantastic and vibrant hobby community, please consider joining our Patreon. It helps us keep all of the computers on and we have a very vibrant Discord where we will actually be giving away some army products as well. And of course, until we see you again in the far-flung future of this grim, dark universe, play on. Oh,